In this short video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically populate uh, the fields of an email template in Sendinblue or in another uh, email uh, software uh, using Integromat and uh, Google Sheet. So imagine you have a newsletter about um, the latest uh, free books on Amazon like this one and uh, you've got 10 different uh, books in the newsletter with uh, for each book a title a link obviously um, to uh, to see the book on Amazon uh, and uh, and an image and uh, you want to dynamically uh, create this email uh, each and every week when you send uh, your newsletter how do you do that so basically all uh, the stuff that you see in the email the images the titles and uh, the links behind the images and the buttons uh, they will be uh, in a Google spreadsheet. So you can see here, uh, my first column is title, then I have image, then I have the link from Amazon, and I even have here a link from Genius, which is uh, converted, uh, appending uh, the tag uh, from uh, the Amazon link that we have in this column. So I'm using column A, column, a, column B, and column D uh, in my email. If I switch back to uh, my... Uh, email uh, creation tool uh, i can go in send in blue and view the html code and this is the html code of uh, the full email which can serve as a template for other emails the only thing that you have to do is find all the positions of uh, the data items that you want to customize on the fly using integromat so let's say for instance that i search uh, for um, for genius uh, in this uh, email you can see here that I've got genius uh, one of my links right here I've got also a link to an image right here uh, if I go here I can see here the title of uh, the first book so in Integromat I will have to find uh, in my HTML code that I paste uh, in uh, Integromat I will have to find the positions of all the, the the static pieces of data and replace them with a dynamic tag uh, created via Integromat. So let's move to Integromat to see uh, how it's done in Integromat. So I have two different rules. One of the rules, I won't click here because it will reveal my uh, API key, but one of the rules, uh, I use it to uh, convert the, uh, the link uh, from Amazon into uh, Genius links. So uh, what I do is I watch for new rows in my Google Sheet. So if I go here, I can show you the first uh, module uh, from, uh, from Google Sheet. It always takes a while to, to load, but then you can see uh, the list. Uh, you can see that the row, uh, the table has headers and uh, I'm just uh, I'm just retrieving maximum 10 uh, lines, 10 rows uh, from uh, the spreadsheet uh, that I will then send to the API uh, of uh, Genius uh, through an HTTP module uh, of Integromat. So it's very easy to customize. Uh, you just uh, use the URL and uh, in the header section, you have to uh, declare your API key API key, API secret, and you've got obviously to customize uh, the URL so that you can pass the information uh, from uh, from the first sheet. Uh, the information uh, being uh, the URL that you want uh, uh, to convert. And then in the last uh, in the last part of this uh, short scenario, what I will do is uh, grab. Uh, the result, the output of the second module, of the HTTP module, and I will create on the fly um, um, a URL uh, which will consist of uh, the Genius domain and at the end of the URL which will give us uh, this type of uh, URL. Let's go in and see it again uh, in, um, in my email. So let's edit my email again. I'm looking for Genius again. So you can see here, I've got my Genius domain and the last bit of the URL, which is uh, the identifier of the URL. So that's the way you build them right here in the last module of this scenario. And then uh, what I do, I run uh, another scenario, uh, another scenario which will get the values of the 10, uh, of the 10 rows. Let's come back here. So I've got 10 rows. So I've got values 
from uh, row 2 to row 11 in the first column for the title, from row 2 to row 11 for the images in column B, and from row 2 to row 11 in the column D for, a D, uh, for the destination URLs. So I will need to have this type of scenario. Uh, so I get the genius links with a get range value modules right here. Then I get the titles with a get range value module, but applied to uh, the, the column where I, I have the titles, the column A. And then I have another uh, get range values module applied to the image column. And the trick is that I've got to use this um, aggregator uh, tool from uh, from Integromat uh, and uh, to choose which column I want to uh, to aggregate which array I want to uh, uh, to retrieve uh, this way uh, I will be able to uh, use in uh, my last in the last part of my scenario uh, the results from the from those three aggregator modules let's go and see uh, how it looks like so you've got here um, you've got here uh, the full HTML of the email that I had created in uh, send in blue so as you can see it's a very very large file and then you will see some uh, yeah some tags so I've got one tag for the date right here formatted for today in this format because uh, it appears in the in the newsletter and then here yes uh, I have a dynamic tag. So basically what I do is I click here and I can see um, I can see the data coming from the images, titles and genius links uh, array aggregators. I just have to pick one of them, like the B here for the images. Uh, right here, if I had to choose the images again, it would be B, as you can see. But then what you have to do is, depending on the position in the email, you've got to change the value of the uh, array position. So for the first one, uh, it makes sense it's number one. But if I go a bit further in my email, so let's close this. If I go a bit further, you will see the second, um, the second book. The second book is positioned at number two uh, in the series. So it's very easy to do. You just click there and you change the number. So for the second book, it's position number two. For the third book, it's position number three, and so on and so forth. So that you've got your data at position number one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, until ten, uh, right here. So that's the way you do it. You just uh, use one uh, one result from uh, the array. So you don't have all of them here already. Uh, numbered. You've got one of them, but you've got to change the number. So if I have, uh, if I want to do like uh, A for the title again, so I do it again like this. So I remove it. So title, I take A, and then because it's number two, I just change it to two. So that would be the second title in uh, the column A, as you can see right here. Okay. So that's the way you do it. So you've got, so if you have uh, three different pieces of data for ten books, uh, it means that you will have um, thirty different places where you have to to customize uh, the dynamic data, just as I did in this email. You can see all the green bits uh, in my template will be dynamically populated uh, when I will run uh, the scenario. And why did I create two different scenarios? Um, just because for the first scenario, uh, I need each line to be processed one by one so that I can uh, convert the link into uh, the genius link one by one. But of course, I don't want the full scenario uh, to run 10 times for the, for the email. Otherwise, I will send 10 different emails. So when all of that is ready, I can move to my second scenario, to this scenario where I get the values of all the fields, uh, the fields that were already there, so the title and the image, and the converted field, uh, the, the final link. And I can then, uh, after grabbing the values of all uh, the fields, I can insert them dynamically into my email, and it will send the email to, uh, to the recipients. So that's the way you can create um, a dynamic uh, email campaign using uh, Google Sheet and uh, Integromat.